Hey, what's up my fellow twisters? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, I will be showing you how to create an awesome armor case that has a passcode lock. This is super cool and it was created by Mr. Crayfish. I am just sharing it with you guys, so hopefully you enjoy it. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at our redstone creation and then we can build it. Alright, so here is our armor case with our passcode and I have the passcode right here here in my hand it is basically a paper called memes I drop down the paper onto the ground it gets sucked in and our armor case opens take a look at this guys we now have full access to our diamond armor and of course this involves a bit of role playing as well as you could of course have this in adventure mode where you can't break blocks but yeah that is basically our armor case and if we hit this button over here you can see that the paper pops out we can get that passcode back and and then the glass closes so that is super cool and it's a very good addition to your minecraft world so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this now it's pretty simple so let's just get started by getting ourselves a nice open area i recommend you guys practice building this on a super flat that way you could follow along with me without worrying about where you have to build in a world much like i do right now all right so anyways uh yeah just get an area in your world dig down two blocks in the ground like that grab your a sticky piston place it in the hole facing up with a block of glass on the face of that now once you have that you want to go ahead and grab another block of your choice place five blocks on top of this glass one two three four and five destroy four blocks at the bottom grab yourselves a sticky piston place it facing down on the face of this block right over here with a glass on the face of that sticky piston then once you have that you want to go ahead and destroy two blocks right over here that is one block left from our sticky piston and then you want to go ahead and dig four blocks down again so one two three four and then do the same on this row as well so now we have a two by five area and you want to dig down another layer so it's a two by five by two area now once you have that you want to go ahead and grab a block of your choice and then this time go one block right of our sticky piston and then one block down destroy this block place down a block of your choice right over here to highlight the area and then destroy this block to make a hole in the ground now in this hole you want to go ahead and grab yourselves a redstone torch place it on the face of this block and then you want to grab yourselves two droppers place it on top of each other right over here and you do that by basically crouching and then once you have that grab yourselves a hopper then crouch it again and right click on that uh, dropper to place the hopper going into the dropper place another hopper going into the first hopper and finally a third hopper going into the second hopper so it's going from here to here to there and then we have our redstone torch at the bottom now what we need to do is place down a comparator on this side going out into a block then a bit of redstone dust right next to this block destroy this block at the bottom and place down a bit of redstone dust there and now this redstone dust should be going into this block with the redstone torch on the face of that now once you have that you want to go ahead and place down a bit of redstone dust right over here with a redstone repeater going into the bottom dropper now we need to destroy these two blocks over here and place down two bits of redstone dust wrapping around like that next we need to destroy these two blocks over here and then make a two by two by two area so like a cube on this side destroy those blocks place down a comparator coming out of our bottom dropper going into a block of our choice with a redstone torch on the side of this block it should activate our sticky piston now what we need to do is place down a bit of redstone dust here destroy this block place down a bit of redstone dust here and there grab our a block place it right next to this area and then grab ourselves a slab place our slab at the top section of this block destroy this block right over there then grab yourselves another block of your choice place it right over there on the face of that glass staircase it down and then we could go ahead and now connect this all up using some redstone and that will be the activation for the second piston now that is all of the redstone done in the structure itself now we could go ahead and configure the path passcode now to configure a passcode you want to go ahead and get the following items we need 18 paper as well as one anvil and four blocks of our choice so let's just go ahead and grab those we need to place down an anvil right over here now in this anvil we want to go ahead and place down our four blocks of our choice and then spam any name that you want over here so just make sure it's something random there we go and then we want to go ahead and do the same we want to rename the, uh, the paper that is basically 18 
uh, paper and then we can name this anything we want that's going to be our passcode let's just go ahead and name this tutorial there we go and then we could uh, get that paper and we could also make a copy since we're on creative mode but you basically want 19 of these because 18 is going to go into our hopper and one is going to be of course our passcode key all right so once you have that you want to go ahead and come down here to this dropper place down your blocks like so in these four slots and then you want to go ahead and place down your stack of 18 papers with the word for your passcode into the final area or the final slot of our item hopper and that should be the entire system configured now when you go ahead and drop down the paper with the same name it should suck that paper in activate our system retract our pistons and open up our armor case now the final thing you do need to do is place on a block over here and then if you want to fill up the area place on a block over there you can place down um, a block over here for our armor stand a block there build up two blocks on this side build up two blocks on this side as well and then you can just extend the area just like that. All right, so let's just uh, build this over here so we could quickly demonstrate this. There we go. Fill out this area with grass or whatever block that you like. And then finally, we place down our armor stand, of course, in that area that we just made. So here's our armor stand. I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, drop this paper where's the paper actually oh yeah it's in the system okay so i'm gonna delete all the items in my inventory and then i am going to grab ourselves an armor stand or actually um armor for our armor stand let's just grab diamond armor there we go and i'm gonna place the diamond armor onto the armor stand and now we have ourselves uh, everything working for a role play. So now the final thing we need to do is grab ourselves a button, place it on this block right over here, and then right click on that button, the paper pops out with the passcode on it, and then the pistons uh, then extend and close the armor case. Now you can go ahead and block up this area and decorate it however you like. But that is pretty much how it works, guys. And that is how you would also, you know, decorate the area if you want to hide all of the redstone. I just put carpets over here on the other design because I think it was a bit better. But anyways, guys, that is basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it, please take one second to smack the like button. I definitely appreciate it. Leave a comment down below. Suggest another redstone tutorial that you would like to see. If you guys want to see awesome redstone tutorials as well as redstone maps and stuff like that, subscribe to the channel because I upload a lot of that all the time. Anyways, guys, this was Twist. I thank you all for watching yet again, and I'll see you guys next time.